Hi, I'm Tyler with Golf Kicks, and today we're gonna show you how to put in your cleats. Um, you've got a box with 20 cleats inside, whatever color you ordered. Comes with a couple ball markers, a Sharpie for mapping out your traction, and a little five millimeter hex driver, and that's what you use to screw them in. So the first and very important thing is you need a flat rubber sole. Um, so I'm looking for flat spots on the sole, rubber, not spongy foam. And what I like to do, because all shoes are different, is to lay these things out. We do an eight cleat pattern on an adult pair of shoes, um, and you lay them out in likely spots where you're gonna want the traction. So I'm staying within the footprint of the shoe. You don't want them hanging off to the side. And I'll lay them out like this. And then once I've got them where I want them, let's see, this looks pretty good. Move this one over a little bit. Then I can go with the Sharpie and make my marks. And that's where I'm gonna screw them in. If you have the option between like a bump on the sole and a crack, I like to go crack just cause they dig in better and it gets them started. So let's see, I'll make all my dots. You won't be able to see it that well on the black. All right, now I've got my traction. Five millimeter hex. Um, a lot of times it helps to have back pressure. So I'm gonna put my hand inside the shoe and I'll just do one of them here so you can see how it works. Um, these have this metallic core center. So it has kind of a sharp bladed edge. I'm pushing back from inside the shoe with my hand and just kind of taking it slow. You'll feel it start to dig in and I want it to be nice and flush. So you can even use your fingers, but once it's in there nice and flush, that's what you're looking for to keep them in. So, so again, I'm on my second mark. You, you gotta push kind of hard when you begin just to get that first blade going. But once it's in there, one, two, three, it should go deep and I'm getting it nice and flush with the sole. So you can see that one in there tight. You can give it another like quarter turn if you want. And there you go. All right, so now you got your pair of shoes done, all golf kicked, spiked up, eight cleats in. Uh, here's a few of the questions we get. So this set of Tinker 3s you saw has an air bladder. These screws are only seven millimeters long, so it won't reach the air bladder on the threes. Um, some of the new Nikes have a really close to the sole air bladder. Those you don't wanna use. Just hit us up with questions anytime, info at golfkicks.com. We've got a great shoe guru, Matt, who will help you out. Um, we get some questions, should I use glue? So glue can help really lock them into the sole, especially if you have a flexible sole like a skate shoe or um, rainbow flip-flops are an example, vans are an example. Definitely dab a little shoe goo around it. We like shoe goo because it dries with some flex in it. It doesn't get crispy like super glue would. Um, what else? So it comes with a few extras in the kit. So you'll use 16 on a standard adult shoe install and you'll have four left over if you mess one up. If you lose one on the course, um, there are 20 in the box. So again, thanks for trying out Golf Kicks. Let us know if you have any questions before you go into a shoe. Uh, we've become pretty good at knowing what kind of shoes work, what don't, and we wanna be very helpful. Uh, see you out there, be safe on the course, hit them straight.